Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Reese and today we will be starting a new Let's Play actually. Um, we're gonna start a, I wanted to start a Generations Let's Play that like included every pack, every expansion, game pack, stuff pack. I'm trying to get as much as the kits as I can because I don't have all the kits because I feel like I don't need all of them, you know? But I want to really explore The Sims 4, even though I've been some, it's been out for 10 years now and I've been playing it for forever. But I feel like I haven't really experienced everything in the game. Because, you know, when you play and, you know, you have your own type of gaming, you don't really experience all of them. Or you, pay, you play with one pack when it comes out and then you don't play with it again. But I want to really get into everything that every pack and game pack has to offer and like how it contributed to The Sims, you know, because I know that The Sims community does tend to complain about um, <laughs> stuff that they don't have in the game. But like we do have a lot of stuff in the game already. You know what I mean? Like, yes, granted, some of them could have came together. It could have been released in less packs and such. Um, but yeah, I just want to experience all of it for myself. So, I mean, I made like some rules for this kind of where I am telling myself like what I want to finish as it goes through. So I have to be able to use, incorporate, and, you know, complete all of the aspirations, um, hobbies and skills um, I want to have all the Sims, like, at least one of them have different likes and dislikes, like, at least use all of them once. At least all use all of their career once, careers once. I have to stay in all of the worlds at least once, like, per generation. Like, every generation, I'm planning on moving to a different world. Um, I'm also going to try to put the occults in there, literally slide them in. I kind of have some ways that I'm going to be able to do that. But yeah, because, you know, occults are also that's a whole other like life skill, like a whole separate set of skills and hobbies. You know, um, I want to try lot challenges. I've never tried using lot challenges before, like on purpose. Yeah, I want to see how those impact the game lifestyle lifestyles milestones and events i also have to use all of the traits in the game that sounded very unorganized i'm so sorry i hope that you guys like get the whole gist like you know i just have to use everything i'm still like on the edge about the collections because sometimes they're so hard to do and they take so long to do like the um the science one i forget what it's about i forget what it's called but the one that you have to like collect the blocks and stuff. That one is kind of hard to do. Um, I have to visit all of the hidden areas, all eight of them, and gameplay gameplay rules um, are. I'm gonna use the wheel, use wheels like spinning wheels for story progression and like picking the traits after a while, but. If I get one that I've already gotten, then I'm going to, you know, remove it and pick one that I haven't gotten. Um, and after I've used all the traits, like, I'm just going to randomize all of them just to keep things interesting. Um, also going to randomize small details, like their career, like how much they start off with, which this is a generations. Yes, they're going to be getting it from the next generation, but every sim is gonna have a different story basically you know like i don't want it to be like a wealthy family and the older kids are just gonna have money all like you know what i mean someone in the family is gonna have to fuck up you know <laughs> so that is why i'm going to randomize it I'm not allowed to pick the traits or the aspirations for the future generations um, I have to have at least one generation where the Sim is jobless and doesn't make any money or not doesn't make any money or they're forced to make money in, 
in other ways, which is where I would incorporate using like the odd jobs and, you know, stuff like that. I don't want to consider writing and stuff like that because it is a hobby and it is like a career kind of, you know what I mean? So like odd jobs, collecting and selling, like plopsy, stuff like that. Some packs will be in line with the careers, traits, and aspirations because, you know, certain aspirations are surrounding, like, certain worlds like Mount Kamerebi or Sulani and stuff. So some of them will be in line and some of them won't. And I have to pick where... I'm going to go in the storyline, like what the next pack I'm going to use based off the randomized traits that I'm given. I'm going to write all of this down so that you guys can see it. So it's not so confusing for me to just be saying it out loud. But yeah, we'll be starting out with one Sim and I decided to make him a male because I don't know, I feel like simmers tend to start off with females because most of us are female you know but i wanted to start out with a young adult male and you can see him make me you can see me making him here his traits are family oriented foodie and lazy we're gonna start off with the get to work pack because it was the first expansion pack that came out with the sims 4 so i was like i might as well just start with the first one and it is more of a more of a lesser expansion pack i guess in terms of what is added to the game because it's really just like more careers and like careers to follow so um even though i'm not really gonna necessarily be doing one of the get to work careers um this like first generation is more about the easy stuff that you know everyone does in a game Falling in love, you know, finding the one, having kids, um, the basic gameplay of The Sims 4, if you had, like, the perfect life. Yes, there will be some stuff that goes on, some, you know, it's not going to be a picture-perfect, like, family woohoo. The background on The Sim that we're going to be playing with for this generation's Let's Play, um, Lance... His name is Lance Bardot, and he comes from your average Hansakoya family. He has two younger sisters, and his family has a black cat. And him and his sisters were both raised by their father after their mom died from a heart attack, which they actually witnessed um, Lance and his um, younger sister in the middle. He also loves love to cook with his family he loves holidays he loves tradition he loves the hominess you know what i mean he loves just love i guess and he really dreams of opening his own restaurant one day um he didn't really date in high school he wasn't really popular but in college that was definitely different he definitely you know glue up a little bit you know what i'm saying definitely glue up in college and now that he's graduated he's ready to settle down and share his cooking with the world and he's ready to you know have that complete family that he didn't have for a while after um his mom died and he's really jet set on finding the one and starting his own family to pass down that cooking and pass down those holiday traditions and stuff you know so that's a little bit about Lance. Right now, he's going to be living in Evergreen Harbor with his two best friends. Um, who I literally forgot the name of. That is so crazy. But he will be living in Evergreen Harbor with his two best friends. And he'll be working as a chef. So in the beginning of this, I will say that there is a very like step-by-step -step for the first four packs um as you can tell some of the packs like definitely go in order of like some stuff seasons growing together parenthood high school years discover university obviously you know there's a step-by-step -step of what life would technically um mirror which I'm going to be following um especially for him since he's all about the traditional so he will be starting off with the serial romantic 
um, soulmate aspiration. I was really going back and forth on whether I wanted him to start with the Master Chef one, but I feel like coming out of high or coming out of college, he definitely um, is looking more towards the finding the one first. Which yes, he'll still be working on his cooking and stuff. So I will also be incorporating in Lance's generation itself this will definitely be the longest generation um but yeah i'm going to be incorporating wedding stories um the chef hustle um outdoor retreat which you'll see why and sooner or later down the line i'll be incorporating more with seasons and growing together you know after they do what they need to do then seasons, growing together, you know, parenthood, dine out, all of them. I'll be incorporating all the packs. I'm not necessarily going to tell you guys now exactly the order because, you know, you'll just see as it unfolds and I'll probably just tell you as it comes along. But this is really just an, you know, an intro episode about Lance and his background and what you guys are going to see during this Let's Play. But yeah, I'm very excited. I have a whole list of everything that came in part of the separate packs um what was added to the game so like owning a retail store or getting abducted by an alien going to a club going to a cafe i feel like not many people really use like clubs or karaoke like you know i feel like you know we just are going through the motions or at least me <laughs> so i really am excited to do all of this stuff that i have listed that i wrote down and i really hope that um, you guys enjoy this let's play also um it's not gonna be picture perfect because i will be throwing some stuff in there you know to keep it kind of going and interesting for you guys especially during the first generation but yeah i hope you guys enjoy um this let's play and yeah very excited to share it with you guys so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to keep up and see more and i hope you guys have a good day or night wherever you are